right, let's do a video of my Kirby G5 today. So here we go. first one I've actually ever owned. Um, not the first one to come in this house, but definitely the first one I've ever owned. And very similar to my dad's, uh, the G6 my dad used to have, so it's kind of nice to have it. I do want a G6 someday. I just 
Don't know when I'm gonna get my hands on one. But there you go. And I think I've owned it since July of 2013. I can't exactly remember what day. But it was in 2013 when I owned it. So, fun fact. So that probably means as of July of 2020 this year, I would have owned this guy for about six, six years, I want to say. Um, so yeah, and I think when 2023 comes around, if it, if it does, um, this guy I will own for a decade. And it's definitely one Kirby that I'm proud that I'm proud to own. It's proven its quality to me. For the first two years I've owned it, it was the only Kirby I've actually had or well, owned, let's say. The Centrio was around. But <laughs> oh boy, when I owned this guy, boy didn't I put this guy to work for the first couple of years I had it. In 2016, right at the last day of January, I got my hands on a Centria 1. And this guy, for the first two years I had it, it was the only Kirby I had in my collection. So, it definitely, uh, well, I've cleaned a house with it before that was really dirty. It was sandy, it was... Sandy to the point where I could smell burning rubber. Um, and it uh, had lots of paper sh shreds. It had lots of dust. E everything you could ever know. And it went, and I had an empty paper bag in here. And it went from empty to pretty much like full. It was pretty much, I think, packed like a brick when I was done with the house. My grandma was moving out of when I was done with the house. It was packed like a brick from here all the way to the full line. So, yeah. And when his bag puffed up, it was puffed up as hard as a brick, too. Not literally, but to give you an idea. Um, and then, uh, I've used it at the church a couple times before I started, I started getting sanitaires. Uh, and most of the time I would use that SC86 I used to have there. And, yeah, it's, it's definitely been a long road for this guy. And it has done its duties really well. I did replace the brush roll. It had a, it had a Chevron brush roll in it. The G5, original G5, without the in magnet brush roll. And I replaced it with a stiff oblique. And I replaced the cord on it. And uh, after the year supply worth of paper bags well, ran out, I replaced, I started using HEPA bags in it. And of course I replaced the belts sometimes down the road. So there's just a little history f facts about this G5. And yeah, so definitely a Kirby I'm happy to own. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for tomorrow's video.